Let's do a couple more examples of adding four-digit numbers. So let's say I have 3,589. 3,589 plus, plus, that's a plus, 2,443. So let's write it down in the place notation first. Let's do the 3,589. Maybe I'll do them in different colors. That always, I think, helps. So I'll do the 2,443 in this color. What is this, magenta? 43. So 2,005, uh, sorry, 3,589. Let's do the top one first. So we have three thousands. So let's say it's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Five hundreds, one, two, three, four, five. Each of these are a hundred. Give you them as a hundred dollars, or if you gamble, they could be a, a, a poker chip worth a hundred dollars. Not that I encourage you to gamble. Then the eight tens. So let's see, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and each of these are ten. And you really don't. I mean, you you. It might, it might be fun to do this every now and then, but if you're taking a test, you shouldn't have to do this. I'm doing this so that you really understand what happens when we uh, regroup numbers or when we carry the one, so to speak. That's you know the way I learned it when I first learned how to add and um, add multi-digit numbers. And then we have nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And each of these are one. So that's three thousands, five hundreds, eight nine eight tens, and nine ones. Three thousand five hundred and eighty nine. And now let's do the two thousand four hundred and forty three. So we have two thousands, one thousand, two thousand, that's a thousand right there. Four hundred. One, two, three, four hundred. Each of these are a hundred. Then we have four tens. One, two, three, four. Each of those are ten. We have three ones. One, two, three. Now we are ready to add, now that we've drawn everything. So let's go to the ones place. I'll do it in a different color here. So we have 9 plus 3. 9 plus 3 is 12. We can't put a 12 in the ones place. So the way that we learn how to do it is we said, well, a 12 is essentially 10 plus 2, right? 9 plus 3 is the same thing as 12, which is 10 plus 2. Well, 10 plus 2, we can write the 2 here. And then the 10, we can put it into the tens place. And that looks just like we said 9 plus 3 is 12. But essentially, we're saying 9 plus 3 is 10 plus 2. But you can do it either way. I mean, once you're actually, as long as you understand what you're doing, feel free to say 9 plus 3 is 12, especially when you have to do it fast. And what did we just do in reality? Well, we said we have how many ones do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 plus 3, 10, 11, 12. And what we did is we took 10 of these. We took 10 of these. And we converted them to another 10. Right? And so you can almost view them as, you know, they're no longer in the ones place. I, I put them all in a canister, or I exchanged them all for a $10 bill, and I put them in the tens place. And then I only had two left in the ones place. And that's exactly what we did here. Two left in the ones place, and the other 10 I exchanged for one in the tens place. All right, so let's see what happens in the tens place. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tens. So 13 tens. Well, that's the same thing as 10 tens plus 3 tens, right? So why don't I take 10 of the tens and convert them to 100? So let's see. Let me do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let me take 10 of these. And I'm going to create 100 out of them. So they're not, no longer in the tens place. And how do I do that here? Well, I say that 1 plus 8 plus 4 is 13. 
Well, I can only put the three. So it's 13 tens. Well, that's the same thing as three tens, right? That's these three tens, one, two, three. That's the same thing as three tens and 100, and that 100, right? I took I took out 10 of the tens from here, but I and I converted them into 100, and that's all I did. And you know, once again, if you're doing if you're if you're just doing this quickly, you just have to say, oh, one plus eight plus four is 13. One three, that's 13. But and and I know I'm being very very repetitive, but you really should understand what you're doing, why this works, and that's why I'm going through this long, arduous explanation of converting 10 of these 10s to 100, and that's why that 1 shows up. Well, anyway, let's go to the 100s place. How many 100s do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hundreds, right? And if we look at it this way, too, we have 1 plus 5 plus 4 is 10. So let's take all of these 100s, and I'll arbitrarily switch colors now. Let's take all of these 100s, because you can't write a 10 in any one place. 10 isn't a digit. 10 is a two-digit number. Let's convert 10 hundreds into 1,000. So that becomes 1,000. And so we got rid of everything in the hundreds place. So essentially, we have zero hundreds, but we have an extra 1,000. So we have zero hundreds and an extra 1,000. And the way we could have done that, we could have said 1 plus 5 plus 4 is 10. But this is what we actually did. We said that, well, it could be 10 hundreds or zero hundreds and 1,000. That's the intuition. And now we're almost done. How many thousands do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six thousands. Or one plus three plus two is six. So the answer is 6,032. Let's do a bunch of quick problems. And this time I won't draw this out. But you shouldn't just mechanically say, oh, I'm carrying the one, or I'm regrouping the one, or whatever. You should really understand what's going on um, when, when, we, when, we, you know, when we put this one up here every time. Let's do some problems. It's amazing how many people will go through life and they will be carrying their ones and they they and these are smart people, but they never take the time to understand why the carrying the one works. And really, especially in mathematics and in science, but really in all things in life, you should never take things at face value. You'd be amazed how much of um, well, you know, think about think about 50 years ago. How much people thought was true that that now we know is isn't true, especially in you know a lot of fields like medicine and and even in physics or uh, wherever else. Uh, so so even the things that are being taught to you today in 50 years, some of it might be proven to be false. So that's why it's very very important that you always make sure you understand why something works. You just don't take it as you know as faith that it's going to work. And that way, when you prove a different way of doing it, because you really understand how things work, you'll get a Nobel Prize and you'll be famous. And, and, and you can say that Sal's videos, I, I credit for this Nobel Prize. And, well, anyway, let's go back to the, the math. So what's 7 plus 6? It's 13, right? 13. Well, we could just say, well, 13, 1, 3. But what did we really do? We said 7 plus 6 is 3 ones and 1 10. And that's essentially what 13 is, right? If we just write down the number 13, that says that tells us it's 110 and 3 ones. And we just wrote it here, 110 and 3 ones. Then we say 110 plus 9 tens plus 110, that's 11 tens, right? 11 tens. Well, 11 tens is the same thing as 110 and 100, right? 110. But you know, if you're just doing this fast, you say 1 plus 9 plus 1 is 11. And then you're at 1, 1. And then you say 1 plus 6 plus 3, what is that? That is 10. Well, we're in the hundreds place. So 10 hundreds, you could also write that as 0 hundreds and 1,000, right? 10 hundreds is 1,000. And then we have 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6. Not too bad. Let's do another one. 3,000. 587 plus 3,813. 10 plus 3 is 10. Well, you can't put a 10 here. It's essentially just 0 ones and 1 10. And that's what 10 is. I mean, when I write 10, that's telling me that I have 1 10 and 0 ones. But anyway, I think I'm being repetitive. All right, 1 plus 8 plus 1. Well, that's 10 again. So. But since we're in the tens place, that's 10 tens, right? So that's equal to 100 and 0 tens. We convert them all for 100. 
1 plus 5 plus 8, that's what? That's 14. But it's actually 14 hundreds, right? Because we're in the hundreds place. So 14 hundreds, that's the same thing as 400 and 1,000, right? And then 1 plus 3 plus 3, that's 7. But we're in the thousands place, so it's 7,000. 7,400 is our answer. Let me arbitrarily switch colors. And arbitrarily means that I'm doing it for no good reason, except for, except to just switch colors, because it looks nice. 5, 8, 9, 2. OK. And this time, I'm just going to go through it. Just show you how fast you can do it. I'm not going to keep explaining that, oh, you know, a 13 is, a, is three ones and a 110, and so that's why we carry it. I'm just going to do it. So 8 plus 2, 0 ones, 110, or 10. 1 plus 9, right? Or 10 plus 90. That's 100. So it's 0 tens and 100. 1 plus 9 plus 8. That's 18, right? But we're in the hundreds place, so it's 1800. So that's 8 hundreds, so 1,000. And then we have 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 8 thousands. Let's do one more problem in a different color. 2,824 plus 2,576. That's a 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. 1 plus 2 plus 7, well, that's 10 again. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 5 is 14. 1 plus 2 plus 2, that's 5, 5,400. And so you know you can see that I carried it. But just remember that when I, when I carry the 1, I'm essentially saying, you know, like for example, when I say 4 plus 6, it equals 10. That's 0 ones and 1 10. And that's why I put the 1 in the tens place. Anyway, I will see you in the next video where we will do four-digit subtraction. See you soon.